Hey guys, today I'm excited to share Star Wars Rebels, the art of the animation, animated series uh, book with you. This is uh, by Daniel Wallace. I think it's a pretty good book, so um, Daniel Wallace did a pretty good job here. I have a lot of the Star Wars art of books from the movies, and um, I actually think this is the first Star Wars one that I have from the anim one of the animated series, which is pretty awesome. Um, I totally missed out on the Clone Wars animated um, art of book, so I'm pretty sad about that because it's about 400 bucks now if you want it. <laughs> it's crazy. So I would have to get like eBay gift cards or something like that on my birthday to buy that. So at any, at any rate, um, the thing that I do like about Star Wars Rebels is that they used a lot of uh, Frank McQuarrie's uh, artwork, the concept artwork for, from the original series in uh, the first three movies that came out, uh, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. So, you know, you see a lot of that design work in the, uh, in the cartoon series, the animated series. So I really love that, especially with like, the stormtroopers and stuff like that you can really really tell and Darth Vader so that's pretty cool I love all of this stuff you know all the um, designs that they did and the ones that they that they didn't use that you see here that's pretty cool I look at some uh, designs for chopper here I really like this one with this super flat head and then of course this one kind of looks like R2D2 here So you get Hera here first, and you can see, you know, some of the designs here of Hera that they didn't use, and then um, even some variations here, and then of course the Hera that they settled on here, and it looks like a head for a maquette, like an artist maquette here. Then you got Ezra here, and he's looking a little bit younger here. I'm not sure, I don't remember at the beginning of the series if he actually was this this young. Maybe he was. Kanan, of course. And Kanan looks pretty much the way he looked in the um, animated series. So I don't see too much deviation from like, you know, early concepts or anything like that. Sabine, very cool character. I like her character a lot. You know, Mandalorian. Very cool. And then Zeb. Zeb, you know, one of the original designs that Frank McQuarrie did for Star Wars that ended up being uh, Chewbacca. So it's cool that, you know, they, obviously they didn't use him in the films, but they used him in the animated series for Rebels. So awesome. You get Grand Moff Talkin here from uh, A New Hope. And here's some chopper variations here. Again, one looks like R2-D2. And the other two pretty much look like chopper, but different uh, color schemes. Um, they would kind of switch them up anyway during the series because sometimes he would, uh, you know, he'd be going undercover in, in an Imperial base or something like that. So they, you know, paint his, uh, his head black or something like that, kind of go with the imperial color schemes so that he wouldn't be detected as he was kind of rolling around the base. Yeah, Alexander uh, Collis here. Did I say that right? It's Collis or Callis. And uh, as you all know, was the uh, mole in the series. So that's pretty cool. C-3PO and uh, you have a Wookiee here. Some environments, and this one's really awesome actually. I really like that. These are beautiful. This is obviously inside an Imperial base here, or a, or a cruiser, an Imperial cruiser is nice like a planet that uh, had died a dead planet get some weapons here an imperial probe droid I don't know if you guys remember this from uh, Empire Strikes Back 
lightsabers, helmets here. This book is done really, really well. I guess these are supposed to be Ezra's parents. The ghost. I really love the ghost. Uh, it's a great looking ship. You know, I always imagine it's like built from scrap pieces of the Millennium Falcon. So I really like that. Imperial Star Destroyer. Shuttle. You have some TIE Fighters here. Here's a painted one, kind of graffiti style. That was in one of the episodes. Darth Vader. So this is season two. So they kind of cram like all the seasons into one book, which is kind of funny because I'm sure we're going to miss some material here. I love this original illustrations of Darth Vader's head where it really, you know, emphasizes the skull look to it. These are cool too. There's Yoda. You get Captain Rex, which is awesome. It's cool that you get a clone trooper, you know, that you know, uh, ends up being a rebel as well. So that's pretty cool. Ahsoka uh, obviously does a, a few cameos in the series, which is cool to see her in the series. Some Inquisitors and uh, Darth Maul. The Inquisitor design's really cool. You know, they almost have that like Imperial trooper design mixed with like a Sith or something like that. It's really cool. You got some uh, Princess Leia designs here for costumes. Some more environments. So you get environments for like every season. I highly recommend that you pick up this book if you are a, a Star Wars fan, and especially an animated Star Wars fan as well. You get some more props. You get different texts for I don't know what, maybe some of the artwork that was in uh, the, the bunks of the characters. Um, who knows? Might have been in some of the ships or stuff like that. Or maybe in the uh, town that they were in. An A-wing fighter here, very cool looking. You can see the different color schemes that they used. All are nice. Very, very cool. You have a modified ATTE here. It's really cool. I think uh, this is where Captain Rex um, basically ha had his base or whatever. I think there were a couple of other clone troopers that were with him at some point in the uh, animated series. I don't know if they if they died or or what happened to them. I don't remember. And then uh, of course one of my favorites, the At At Walker. Some more vehicles, TIE Bomber, and then we get into Season 3. So here Ezra is a little bit older already, and you get a cameo by Obi-Wan Kenobi, which was pretty cool, where he fights uh, Darth Maul, and you get the uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn which he's a pretty intense character. Kanan, after he was blinded, and Sabine, when she is a, uh, infiltrates uh, the uh, TIE Fighter Academy. Another Darth Maul here. Bendu. Bendu. 
Saul Guerrera here and different um, illustrations, concept illustrations for Saul. Some more environments that you get. Really cool. I love this. I don't even know what this is. Is you know, is it is it a ship? Is it just some sort of rock formation that's floating around in space that you know they built uh, a base into? It's just really cool looking. Tatooine here. Here's the Mandalorian base here. Some more weapons, some lightsabers. This was like one of uh, Hera's uh, totems, some wanted posters, some art, a Y wing, very nice. shuttle. The only thing I'm not seeing in here are chicken walkers. Which are my favorite. Another Mandalorian. Some troopers. Some Mandalorian troopers here. Palpatine, of course. Playing both sides of the coin here. The good guy and the evil guy here, which, you know, we're not supposed to know are the same guy. Some more Sabine uh, concept artwork here. You have a death trooper up here. That's pretty cool. more environments. This is pretty cool, like a Mayan or Aztec pyramid. I believe this was a rebel base. Very nice. I love this too. I love how there's a spaceship just crashed into the town right here. It's an awesome illustration. There's also a deluxe, deluxe um, edition of this book where it comes in a slip case that lights up with some um, <clears throat> lightsabers. So that's pretty cool. Um, of course, it's more expensive. I didn't end up ordering that one just because I didn't really feel like I needed all the extras. It also came with uh, an extra um, kind of like a, like a little folder that opens up that has like a little lithograph in it but it's not really like a lithograph because it's actually I don't know if it's glued to the folder or if it's illustrated on the folder or, or how it worked but to me it seemed like if you were going to include um, an illustration then it should be able you should be able to take it out of the folder if you were going to you know, include a folder with it. So it was, it's a, it was a pretty nice illustration, but I felt like for the extra money, I didn't feel like those extras were worth it. Besides, I felt like I could probably buy two books instead of, you know, one special edition or whatever. So of course, when it was the uh, book was shrink wrapped, this was on the back of the book inside the shrink wrap. So I put that inside of the the back uh, page of the book here, and that's what the back of the book looks like. I had to I had actually ordered this book, and it had a lot of these like little dents in it. So I had to return it to Amazon, and they sent me another book, and of course the new book that they sent me also had dents in the book. So 
I said, forget it. I'll just keep it. No worries. The other one was, this is, this one's a, a little bit better looking. So I'm happy about that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Bye.